What's going on everyone? Mo Link here. As you guys probably saw if you saw the finals, um, they did reveal a trailer for Julia and for Negan. So I'm just going to break down the move list that uh, we saw so you can sort of get a better feel for the characters, um, what they're going to be like, what's new, what's old, and um, I'll also be doing Negan straight after this. Um, so get hype, get ready, and let's get straight into what we saw. So first off, I just want to start off by saying uh, they didn't say it um, in the actual announcement, but as you can see, the actual colours of the stages are different. Some are saying it's vanilla lighting, so Tekken 7.0 when the game first came out. Um, whatever it is, these stages look sick. I've always been saying that I want to see new stages or at least remixes of old stages. And as you can see, they must have listened to everyone's uh, questions and prayers. And it looks like we've got different versions of each stage. This is the Jungle Outpost one, so it looks pretty sick. So first up, we see Julia punishing King's ankle kicks, that annoying move that all Kings do in the lower ranks, uh, with down forward 2-1, which is a move that she's always had. 16 frames, so that's a 16 frame punish we see. She then continues on the combo with forward 3-1 quickly. Um, this would probably be a great move to initiate combos with uh, after the launch because it does a lot of damage and has the hit effect. She then continues on the combo with down forward 4-2-3, which is an old string that she's always had, but now it's a screw move. And then finally, it looks to me like she finishes the combo off with down back 2-2, which seems to be pretty good wall carry from the looks of this video. We then get our first look at her armor move, which looks to me like down 1 plus 2, which is pretty much like a barge, but a wall bounces as well. So this is a super good mid option when you have the opponent at the wall. So then, correct me if I'm wrong, but after the wall bounce, this looks like a new string to me, which is followed up using 1 plus 2, 4 as the wall combo, but if I'm not mistaken, this is a new extension of the string, and it has a cartwheel now, instead of just the usual um, 1 plus 2 after it, which I'm pretty sure was launch punishable. So that's a new option there for Julia. We then get to see Twilight Conflict, but with the 7.0 lighting, and as you can see, it looks so cool. It's like dusk. It's like the most awesome stage. I used to love playing this in the arcade. But anyway, then we see her forward forward 1 plus 2 beat out Marduk's kick, um, which is also her second wall bounce. And this next part is super important. So we can see she still retains her forward forward 1 4, which was like the bread and butter of her game um, in the past Tekkens. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my video on her top 10 moves, but that was in the top 3. So it's great that she still retains that move. Now the next thing that we see here, I'm not sure if it was in past Tekkens, but it's not in the move list, so I thought I'd talk about it anyway. Her forward 2-1, which usually just has forward 2-1-2, can actually go into a swift step now. Uh, this opens up a lot of possibilities for her and a lot of mix-ups, and it's a great new addition to her moveset. We then see what looks like a new string to me. It's a low into a mid, um, and if someone tries to interrupt, you can counter hit them, which is then followed up by a forward forward 1-4, like I mentioned earlier, um, into a combo. And I'm not sure how many of you caught this in the trailer, but her down forward 4-2, back forward 1 plus 2 now has a just frame version. You can see the blue spark, so that's good for some style on it. We then see her up forward 4-3 into down forward 3 plus 4, confirmed. And then it looks like her down, down forward 1 comes next, but it's into a new string, which is a screw, as you can see. Which leads us to our first look at Julia's Rage Drive, which is a wall splat Rage Drive. Um, it's two hits. Here's another look at it again, and then we see while running one is confirmed as that's what knocks uh, Marduk off the balcony. And then if I'm not mistaken, we see a mid hit into Swift Step, but it's a new extension again, and looks like it will be a great ender for Waller stages, because um, it knocks them far away, but it looks like it does decent damage. We then see her back four is returning in fact, which was a high that's plus one, um, and we see we get her up forward three plus four guaranteed after that. On top of this, we see what looks to be forward forward three straight after. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed, but it would be cool if it is. Um, and that move now hits grounded. I'm not sure if it did before, but it does now, so. And finally, we get to see her rage art, which looks pretty cinematic. Um, I like how it ends. Pretty decent animation, and um, yeah. That's pretty much all we saw for Julia. Um, we saw quite a lot, a lot of combos and good move usage, so we can see pretty much that all her staple moves are returning. Um, but yeah, uh, don't forget as well, at the end of 
when they finished revealing the trailer, they actually did say that they got a lot more stuff they're working on. So I reckon it, it's safe to uh, expect season three um, for Tekken. I'm going to say it now. And yeah, I'm excited to see what they got. Um, and Julia, yeah, Julia and Negan both coming out 28th. So make sure you buy them. Um, and yeah, Negan video will be up tomorrow. So tune in for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Yeah!